Hello everyone, my name is Vsevolod Nikizin. I'm the pre-sales and after-sales director at MedVision Europe. And in this video, I'd like to show you our auscultation task trainers, Matt and Pat, for adult and pediatric patient. Let's have a brief overview of all the elements of the task trainer system. I'm going to start left to right and here we have the laptop which is always a touch screen uh, and always 360 foldable. We're going to show this a little later. We have the mannequin body on a rotatable platform and it can be fixed in uh, various positions and for example uh, backwards for uh, posterior auscultation sites. We have our Wi-Fi router which connects all of the elements of the system which can be placed somewhere to the side. Uh, and we have the stethoscope and uh, one of the most important elements of the system is the stethoscope adapter and you can use any stethoscope by connecting it here. This is a soft and flexible uh, base here. Uh, this is what we call a smart scope and your sound will be coming from here. And uh, here we have the set of speakers. If you want to uh, listen to a particular sound or a number of sounds with your class, uh, and they can be connected to the laptop uh, wired or wirelessly. The laptop that is included with your auscultation task trainers will usually look like this. So here we have the uh, touch screen for convenient input and because all of the interface is designed around touch input and you have your keyboard and touchpad if you want to use this. You can also of course connect a, an external mouse. And they are always collapsible like this, foldable, uh, to a tablet mode if this is more convenient for you, for example, when you are working standing up. And now some details about the scan that we use and auscultation points that we have. In our auscultation task trainers, we use the same skin as we do in human patient simulators. The skin is of very high quality and it is resistant to any mechanical stress. So you can easily use any pens, markers, sticky markers, and don't be afraid to use those because the skin is very easy to clean. As about the size of our auscultation task trainer, it repeats the size of real human patients. And the auscultation task trainers have all anatomic landmarks that are necessary for proper auscultation. So the landmarks like ribs, collarbone, muscles, and soft abdomen. So now let's go to auscultation points. So here you can see the five anterior lung auscultation points, the five heart auscultation points, and the four bowel auscultation points. And on the back of mat, you will see the six posterior lung auscultation points. Now we will have an overview of the auscultation software interface. As you can see, the window can be divided into three areas. On the left, there is a library of auscultation sounds, heart, lungs, and bowel. In the middle, there is an image of the auscultation patient. And you also see the major vitals here, heart rate and respiratory rate. At the bottom, there is the auscultation sound waveform. On the right, you can select the auscultation area, heart, lungs, anterior and posterior, and the bowel. Here you can also play with the sound settings. Using the slider you can increase or decrease the sound volume level. Using the mute all button at the bottom you can mute all the auscultation sounds. Using the max volume button you can increase the sound volume to its maximum level. You can also turn on and turn off the auscultation point highlighting, for example. So now you can see that the auscultation point is highlighted. So why do we need it? A student will see the location of auscultation points and learn where to perform the auscultation of this or that sound. Now I will show you how everything works. For example, we will perform heart auscultation. Pay attention that when you select the area for auscultation, the list of sounds available also changes. In our case, for heart auscultation, we've got heart tones, murmurs, other sounds and pathologies. When you tap on the group title, the list of sounds drops down. In our case, I select mitral valve. And you see that we see this point in the middle of the screen. I can change the auscultation point in the middle of the screen. As soon as I change the point, the sound waveform also changes. 
While running the auscultation, you can also add the ECG graph. So tap on the ECG button at the bottom and you will see the graph at the bottom of the screen. You can also adjust the respiratory rate and the heart rate values and pay attention that while changing the values of those vitals, the waveform of the sound will also change accordingly. You can also change the volume level for all auscultation points using the button at the top of the screen. Just tap and use the slider. For the auscultation of the lungs, and in my case it will be lungs anterior, so I select the area, I select the point and the sound. You can also use the respiratory rate function, you will see the waveform if you tap on the respiratory rate button. If you change the respiratory rate settings, the value, you will see that the waveform changes accordingly. Another helpful function is compare. With compare, you can compare to different sounds. So now let's run the auscultation of the heart as an example. So I choose heart, I choose a mitral valve, and the normal heart sound. I turn off heart re respiratory rate and I tap on compare. Then I add one more point, which will be aortic valve. And you see that the waveform of the aortic valve sound is in the yellow frame now. If you want to stop the production of the sound and of the waveform, tap on the pause button. If you want to restart the production of the sound and of the waveform, tap any part of the screen. If you want to full screen the waveform of a sound, use the full screen button. If you want to add any image from your own library, use the plus button. Now let's have a look at the top menu. To switch from the loudspeakers to the smart scope, use these two buttons. If you want to check the connection of the elements of the system, use the check connection button. These are the major features of the auscultation software interface. To connect your MedVision Auscultation Task Trainer, let us start with the power cable, which is connected to this port here, and the other end goes into the power outlet. After you already press the on and off switch here, uh, this uh, here labeled LAN is our service port, and the last one on the left is the USB AB to connect uh, uh, the Auscultation Task Trainer to uh, your laptop with a wired connection. So USB B goes into here, and USB A goes into your laptop. If you want to connect wirelessly, we have the included uh, Wi-Fi router, which you only have to connect with this power cable in here, and press the switch to turn on and off, and you'll see green lights light up on this panel here. To turn on your smart scope, do a short press on the black button on the side, uh, a long press goes into the service mode, and you will not be able to use it. So to uh, go out of the service mode, turn it off with a long press until the LEDs on the side stop blinking and to turn it on, short press, uh, you'll see a series of uh, rapid blinkings here and then after it's done it's going to start blinking slowly like it does now, it means you are connected and SmartScope uses a Bluetooth connection to your laptop. To connect a real stethoscope to your SmartScope you have a rubber head here and it is removable. And to connect the stethoscope, you just slide it in there with a little bit of force. There it is. And last, if you wish to connect your speakers, uh, different speakers might be provided in the kit. So this one, all you have to do is connect it to the power source into the three and a half millimeter jack on the side of your laptop. However, it also supports Bluetooth connection and, for example, different kinds of speakers might be provided for, uh, let's say, a USB connection to your laptop. Thank you for watching. This and many other videos about our portfolio of simulators can be found on our website, YouTube channel, and Instagram. See you next time. Thank you.